Oh my god! Oh. You're what? <laughs> you are beautiful. Oh my god. Romans alludes to sincere love when it says love must be sincere. It means that the world has one idea of love and sometimes we have our own idea of love. But the love that you will share for each other from this moment forward is the love that Jesus had on the cross. The love that God the Father looks on you as his children and that you will foster that love in your home. strength and show me your weakness we're in this together now we're in this together now give me your love and tell me your secrets Meg and Marie we are finally here it's our wedding day when we started dating we seemed like polar opposites but little did we know that we were exactly what we needed for each other You've been such a rock for me over the years. From graduating college, to jumping from job to job, to actually finding the passion that I have for ministry. To just recently you were there every step of the way when I was with my dad. I'm amazed by your heart and your love for me, even at my worst. Most importantly, how rooted you are in Jesus Christ and the foundation that he set on our lives. I love you so much for all of this. Today is the start of a new chapter in our lives as we commit to come together as one in front of our closest friends and family. You are single-handedly the most incredible person I know. To say that you're a good man is the biggest understatement. Since we've been together, I've seen God at work in you and through you and continue to fall more in love with you every day that goes by. I'm so grateful that the Lord allowed our paths to cross as a senior Christian where we were able to build a foundation of friendship first. And I'm overwhelmed with joy that he chose me to live alongside you for the rest of our lives. I love your sense of humor and your ability to light up every room you walk into. And I love that you're true to your, who you are and are never afraid to be fully yourself. I love your heart for others and the way you seek to serve, sacrifice, and put everyone before yourself. And I love that you encourage me to stop and slow down and enjoy what's in front of me. You make me feel more loved than I ever thought was possible. Megan, I vow to always love you, no matter who you become to be. I vow to listen, even when I think you're wrong. <laughs> Here, I promise to always push you to be the best version of yourself and listen to who God's called you to be. I promise to be a warrior for you and to fight for our love, our marriage, and our God. I vow to always be growing as an individual myself to make us better. I promise to love you unconditionally and stand by your side no matter what. Curveball, life throws our way. And lastly, I vow to lead us towards a Christ-centered relationship forever. And last, I promise to always seek Jesus first and fight to keep Him at the center of our family and our home. Well, by the power vested in me, by God and the state, I now pronounce you man and wife and may kiss your bride. For the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Garrett Lowe. Yeah. 
been waiting for the tides to change For the waves to send you my way I see you darling but you pixelate It gets hard to take these days But we'll hold a line I won't let go fierce lover of Jesus uh, and it shows in all of his relationships it shows with his family and his friends um, the youth that he is continually serving and he's also the most joyful person I know I swear I've seen like not smile twice uh, and so it, that's that's um, it's contagious you just you know when he's around he's probably screaming in a high-pitched voice for whatever reason and jumping on you and it's great and you love it because I know a lot about Megan too and I, I should warn you about some things no, I'm not going to because she's perfect and you will never get better. So, absolutely not. Emily, I'm Megan's younger sister by five years. Our relationship was more like a mother daughter relationship growing up. Megan was so protective that I would actually tell my friends to put their best foot forward when they would meet her. I, you know, I told them to shake her hand, look her sternly in the eye, and to not be afraid because she could smell fear. She could. Love you guys so much. And if you guys could all raise a glass. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Lolly. Cause when I'm in a room with you Cheers to a fun, good night in your dancey dance, alright? Yeah. You know when you